both Hyundais and Performance Division broke out of the beginning entryway with the i30N in Australia, fitted solely with a six-speed manual transmission. Our first taste of a South Korean Blue Ponder will be the Veloster and propelling in the not-so-distant future, and it likewise accompanies that solitary gearbox. Hyundai administrators revealed to Australian sidecar advice an 8-speed double grasp transmission is en route, however that it won't join the gathering until late 2019. That implies we could see it in the Velocitor around at that point or somewhat later, and it may forecast future advancements for the Go Quick lineup. The in-house unit will be all new, not a revamp of the 7-speed EcoShift double grip in the Veloster Turbo. It isn't certain whether the 7-speeder can deal with the 279 pound-feet of torque in the best spec and autos when on overboost. As indicated by in performance manager Albert Bierman, the new 8-speed, wet grass, paddle-moved gearbox has just been tried in the Kia Sorento diesel, which has 325 pounds to foot of torque, and the 380 strength RN30 Idea Auto. At last, it will serve vehicles crosswise over Hyundai and Kia ranges. Albeit late presentation of a double grasp has been the arrangement up and down, a Hyundai executive conceded deals impediments in offering a manual solely. Each prime opponent offers double grasp transmissions. In any case, Hyundai trusted that it expected to speak to the Euro hot bring forth perfectionists to start with, and we can't reprimand it. The long deferral amongst dispatch and DCT accessibility raises inquiries and conceivable outcomes, however. Each end display disclosed so far sends all energy to the front wheels in light of the fact that, as indicated by Bierman, without a high measure of energy there is no compelling reason to go to all-wheel drive. The presentation of the beefier 8-speed DCT that is prepared to manage no less than 380 horsepower and 325 pounds to foot could open up the best approach to considerably more capable and adaptations and all-wheel drive, which can possibly make genuine equality with fragment rivals. Auto advice likewise detailed that Hyundai Australia will cover track queues in the five-year guarantee on the i30N. We'll hold up to check whether that detail makes it to the US, yet after the double grip burdens endured by contenders like the Volkswagen Golf R and Ford Focus RS, such consolation could run far with purchasers. Inevitably.